Hello everyone. Today we are going to know about uh, broadcast receiver. Android has four components uh, on which the whole Android depends. The one is activity, the second one service, third one content provider, broadcast receiver, the fourth one. Uh, and now I am going to start a series of a broadcast receiver. How to use broadcast receiver? Why? broadcast receiver is important uh, you while creating android apps uh, what are broadcast receiver broadcast receiver are the events which occurs on android like uh, what is the flow of a broadcast look at this the first one is between operating system of android and uh, my app or your app anyone's app so when uh, like let's suppose i enable the airplane mode so it gives a message to the app that airplane mode is enabled so that's a broadcast receiver that receives by broadcast receivers like uh, we can also do it in between two apps um, my app uh, and your app um, your app send me a message and when it receives to my app it would uh, receive by the broadcast receiver let's suppose uh, maybe you have uh, I am sure you have uh, used a media player when you enable a notification in the media player and uh, from there from notification you pause play the uh, your video or audio so it gives a message to the app that audio or video is played like uh, you sh uh, you must have used a uh, media player uh, and that was a uh, media player is an example of m within the app like my app i have enabled the notification and my app uh, notification uh, send message to my app that uh, change this or anything or uh, and the one is of from operating system like uh, enabling bluetooth or receive restarting your device or anything and uh, the one for like uh, you send a message uh, maybe you are using a whatsapp you send a message uh, to the another app and it get received and uh, that's you between the uh, two apps that's the flow of it okay the broadcast receiver broadcast receivers can also be called by intent or message send uh, and as we are using intents in a uh, android app so that's why we are uh, maybe uh, someone is calling you intent uh, uh, someone is call, uh, sending you a message that's all is uh, included in the broadcast receiver okay and uh, how many types are there of uh, broadcast receiver there are four types the one is normal broadcast the one is ordered broadcast sticky broadcast local broadcast this sticky broadcast is deprecated and uh, they are not using it now but uh, i'm just giving you a name uh, and, uh, and nowadays which are using that's um, normal broadcast the mostly used order broadcast local broadcast local uh, and view i would explain all these in the upcoming videos but now i am just giving you a hint uh, that it has four types okay and uh, now to create a broadcast receiver you should create two receiver the one is static and one is dynamic it um, both have different usage like let's suppose uh, I am receiving something from the operating system like uh, enabling Bluetooth or enabling aeroplane mode or anything that's uh, that we use in uh, mostly in the static mostly not every time we use it in the static receiver and uh, like dynamic receiver is that which we create in Java which we register in Java or Kotlin con like my activity is started now it should get register or my uh, app uh, my activity is destroyed so it should uh, get unregistered in that okay that uh, we use from dynamic receiver 
and uh, to use static receiver it should be used in the manifest file okay N static uh, receiver are used like this okay look uh, register uh, for an event in application manifest file you should use it in uh, an application tag uh, here it is receiver and here it is a given name of class that uh, we have created and uh, in this one I am uh, doing it for aeroplane mode when it get enabled or disabled we would get a message uh, and dynamic receiver you should first register it and then you should unregister it uh, to when you are not when you don't want to they get a message so that and at that time you sh uh, you would unregister it okay mostly we uh, register it in on resume and uh, unregister it in on pass and now if you forgot to unregister this one it may th uh, throws leaked intent receiver error okay and uh, i would talk about this uh, f uh, on upcoming videos but now i'm just giving you a uh, hint that uh, it would give an error now it, it uh, we use implicit intent and uh, explicit intent in the android so same like this we use imp broad implicit and explicit broadcast receiver implicit are those broadcast just like implicit intent does not target a specific broadcast receiver and instead of defines an action as we, I have defined it in the this I have given it a action here look so it's uh, that was implicit intent uh, all the receiver with the same and action receive broadcast like let's suppose I do it in the manifest file and uh, whenever the plant mode is created so every action which is uh, are the re uh, receivers with the same action uh, of aeroplane mode it would receive a message okay and explicit broadcasts are those broadcasts uh, just like uh, in, uh, explicit intent it target a specific broadcast receiver not all the receiver like let's suppose in the media player we use um, play and pass so it is giving a specific broadcast receiver so that was all and uh, if you got the idea so please hit the like button and uh, also subscribe to this channel if you have first time please subscribe to this channel and also click on the notification bell to get updates of the upcoming videos thank you